previously on Dice Quest. Our heroes, a halfling rogue named Vanny, a half-elf wizard named Marilyn, and a dwarven paladin named Rangrim met in the town of Snowdrop, where they learned of a creature attacking the citizens of the town. They met three high-ranking officials of a religious guild known as the Divine Watch. A halfling woman, a human woman, and a white dragonborn woman, who each worship the goddess of life, Brigid. The dragonborn hired them to find the creature that was killing the townsfolk, and later to investigate the group that has been aiding it. After handing over the operative in Snowfall, our heroes agree to meet the Divine Watch members in Snowcastle, after they have gathered more information. Not long after, Rangram, Vanny, and Marilyn set off towards Cursed Lake, along the way meeting the sister of one of the victims in Snowdrop. They soon find a strange tree, and after stepping through a mushroom circle, find themselves in the Feywild. After escaping, they find a large campsite run by this murderous group. Marilyn and Vanny get captured in an attempt to steal information and have a vision of an underwater temple and a greatsword, a large expanse of lightning-filled clouds with a light hammer, and an endless magma ocean with the distant cries of war with a golden ring. After a daring escape, Rangrim and Marilyn dive into Cursed Lake, finding both the underwater temple and the greatsword known as Flame Tongue. They returned to Snowdrop during a cruel blizzard and set sail for Snowcastle, where our heroes found a diplomatic party of dwarves headed for the castle. Also in Snowcastle, Vanny uncovered a plot to burn a mansion to the ground, Marilyn began her process to enter the city's immense libraries, and Rangrim got drunk and his flame-bearing sword stolen. They find a small alleyway where Rangrim realizes exactly what those green scales on the Divine Watch members mean. They worship the Dark Gods. Before we get started, I do want to apologize for the chair squeak you're going to hear in this episode. She got a new desk and chair, which is apparently quite loud. But, in the meantime, welcome to episode 20 of Dice Quest. All right. Who wants to tell us what happened last time? I don't JJ, remember. JJ, tell us a story. Yeah, JJ. Mm. Mm. Uh, JJ has a cinnamon roll in his mouth. So he's too That's busy. Appropriate. JJ, tell tell the story through the cinnamon roll. Just play charades. <laughs> JJ, play charades. <laughs> he's looking at me like, if I try and speak, I'll die. And when I say last time, like... Just go as far back as you like. Uh, I remember I was following down, or I was tracking down, or at least following dudes with capes? Okay, I have with that. hammers on them? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> That's all um, I fucking remember. Oh, 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 the last thing we learned is that the Divine Watch were following the old gods, and they were evil and bad. Oh, and I was yeah. like, oh no, I can't defuse them, because then I'm gonna hang. Oh, dang. So, okay. <laughs> they, they bad boy. Were we trying to figure it. out what the dwarfs were doing here? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, Dudes with yes. capes. You said the guys with the capes. And there were dwarfs with capes. They got capes. I don't know if they're religious. Yeah, so do, the do we watch. remember oh, what right. they were? <laughs> hey, I was hunting them too, so. Because I did tell you. That was you. JJ's job. Oh. Yeah, so they're growing. So Man. the Divine Wash members, the Brigade Worshippers, were growing like green scales and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, because it was up. And I asked that them was what said was wrong to be correlated face. with the old god worship. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I cannot speak of that to a Divine Watch member or I will be hanged. I have that underlined. Um, <laughs> I, I will be hanged. Underlined, underlined like three times. Cool Dwarf Lady is actually a warlock. Um, the Remember the Innkeeper? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the one you bastard. pissed off because yeah, you were trying I, to, like, like murder yeah. her. Am I still bark? drunk? Can I stop being drunk? No, it's been it's the next day. So I then isn't am he still drunk or not? No, you're, you're fine. Yes, I can work. And you're still young enough where hangovers don't get you too bad. Cool. So. Well, I had a hangover you're yesterday. Please tell me. No, this is the hangover <laughs> day. Oh, and oh. it's over now? It, it's not over. You're still feeling you it. You still feel like, like garbage. I might give you disadvantage on certain things, but I won't disadvantage everything. Uh. Okay, well, that, that's if that's how it was last time, because that yeah, was how it was drunk. last time. Because two times ago I was no, it was two times ago I was drunk. Mm-hmm. No, oh, it just—it's still the same day. Got yes. It. Whatever. 
please tell me that JJ still has like oh yeah my, I also pa- have, like my handprint all over his fucking face. You drunk dwarf. I also have drunk dwarf TM was a bad idea. <laughs> TM yes. was a bad idea. In very rejected handwriting. Maybe, maybe you should incorporate it. Try to go for an LLC. <laughs> LLC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Drunk, drunk dwarf restricted. <laughs> maybe right, limited. True. Limited. There you go. Mm. Anyway. Um, so I yeah. Good it's Darren word. Stormforger, the Dwarven Ambassadors. Did you write that? Down? We don't know why they're in the city. We're trying to find that out. Yeah. And I need to figure out my sword. That's really important. Well, yeah. yeah. Because you fucking lost. It. How did you? You got drunk. I got drunk and like didn't it. lock my door. <laughs> no, someone idiot. like stole I, it the off door was back. locked. I locked oh. the door. Yeah, but when I sneaked oh, in, it was no, gone. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Was it? What's it? I don't know. It got stolen from either the bar when I was drunk or my room when I was drunk. Either it was way, one of those times. he was drunk as shit and doesn't remember anything. Either way, I was dumb, dumb, and can't drink anymore. <coughs> we were strict your drinking off, habits. <laughs> Character progression. Shay, do you remember? Okay, your kind of dealio right now in this city. I know you have a phoenix. Uh, I have a phoenix, and I'm supposed to be doing shit, but I'm You're kind of avoiding that. You're doing things for the library. <laughs> okay. So you I don't know how to get lily. a bear tongue without absolutely bear owl tongue without absolutely just wrecking myself. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing things for the librarian to show him that we're worth something. We're part of the cookie. I mean, club. I already got the flyer. Um, I just need to get the bear club. owl tongue. Is it owl bear or bear owl? Owl, owl bear. bear. Owl bear. Owl bear. I'm sorry, I'm illiterate. Remember we looked them and up the first edition yeah, ones? They, and they, they were, were horrendous oh, looking. Yeah, they were glorious. <laughs> Beautiful. Works of art. It was gorgeous. I yeah. just loved it. Um, so I'm just hanging out with these guys and my phoenix buddy, who's probably going to abandon me, and I might cry. <laughs> um... <laughs> So yeah, I'm just I'm I'm here. Okay. Cool. I tried to talk JJ into getting me an owl bear tongue while he was drunk. <laughs> yeah, I think I said I'd help her, but like I want to figure no, out the sword situation like, before it gets too far out of my hands. Why would you want to hurt this animal? <laughs> yeah, because you thought they were really nice. What, you you thought bear owls stupid. were very kind creatures. Did I roll a nat one and think yes, they were very did. kind? Yes, you did. Oh, <laughs> I'm stoked. I was I mean, either a nat one or a like... two. I'm stoked to like approach one of those. I think it was a nat one. Okay. But, um, I'm, I don't know. Anyway. I'm sure I'm sure the people who watch the show will let us know. <laughs> who knows? Long after we this might get an email. Recorded. That's true. Or a it's message like, you on guys whatever. Are stupid. Yeah. Uh, All right. So. Okay. Rangrim has just dropped this bomb that maybe these Divine Watch members, who you have failed to learn their names are possible followers of the ancient gods. Oh, You're lovely. Currently hiding out in an alleyway while he tells you this information. Mm-hmm. What would everyone like oh, to do? Yeah, okay. It's still morning in Snow Castle. I mm, I was like, I don't remember what I was doing last time cuz it's been a while since we've recorded. So I'm writing down the city cuz I that failed to. Not really. <laughs> that does not fuck. I don't know. Ask somebody else. I feel like it's kind of a neutral on that fuck, so that doesn't fuck. <laughs> I am asking everyone. I don't know, honestly. I Should we try and track one of them down? How powerful are they? The Divine usually? Watch? Do I know this? Like, track you down the Divine not. Watch? Uh, like, would you would they absolutely an... wreck us if we tried to kidnap one? Oh, you yes. You could make an <laughs> insight check. Rangrim's just gonna, like, if you ask, oh, are you asking me? Uh, yeah, I think she's in general. Rangrim's gonna be like, yep. They're gonna kill you. Just, they're gonna wipe your ass with your corpse. They are high members worshiping a god. I'm sure they're very powerful. I think we should oh, go uh, track down the sword. Ma- okay. Marilyn, make an insight check. Rangram, make a religion check. Oh, I wasn't like saying whether or not I actually knew. I was just like being dogmatic. I just want to check oh, to do something. If you don't Can want I to know, then make, don't uh, I just want to do something to roll a dice. I mean, Can I pick I, my know, nose? But if I uh, do it horribly, I just poke myself in the eye. <laughs> sure, give me a one out of twenty on how well you pick your nose. <laughs> I got really? one on my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> I really stab myself in the eye. <laughs> this is why you don't roll when you don't need to. <laughs> an essay so by JJ. JJ. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you just started! I'm gonna grab my dice. I'm already blinded myself. I got a six on the list. Actually, no, I didn't. My bad. I'm just trying to be cool, and I'm just like, 
I got a two on religion. I pick my nose and absolutely <laughs> gouge my eye out. Sorry, I got an eight on religion if that's still relevant. Oh God, okay, that's a three tries. Jack. It does not help. I know. I got an eleven on my insight roll, Jack. Okay. What did I win? First, let oh, me tell shit. you what happens to Vanny. <laughs> you... I'm crying. I'm so... Did you just like give yourself a lobotomy? <laughs> if I try to be funny. <laughs> you. What's your dex modifier, sir? Oh God, I don't know. I'm fucking crying. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Uh, what were you asking me for? Dexterity modifier. <laughs> Uh, it's a plus four. <laughs> okay, so five. you go to pick your nose, and <laughs> Rangrim and Marilyn, you two notice this, but it is much too late. And the hand that's going for her nose, she seems to be wielding one of her daggers. No, 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 no. She straight up cut her nose off. And she... <laughs> Cuts a little piece just into her nose. Holy shit. Not like anything off. There's just a little slit there now. Oh, you ow. You dealt yourself eight damage. Oh, God. Whoa. Sorry. Whoa. I rolled a four on a d4. Whoa. Her dex mod is a four. She's like biting a chip in the corner cutting your mouth and it's doing eight damage. Imagine being level one and that's straight up knocking you unconscious. It more stings than anything, kind of like a paper cut. Oh, but, Jesus. like, ew, it hurt. Oh, my God. She's just casually bleeding so, out from her nose. All right, well, yeah, Rainer's just going to be like, they're strong. <laughs> they're strong after I'm, sure, I'm like, um, sitting against a wall, like, covering I don't my really, I, I have never met them, and I don't know their specific <laughs> Well, given what Maddie right. just did, I don't think we have a chance. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> so, with your 11, Marilyn, um, you're kind of unsure, because if what Rangrim said was correct... Maybe the god that they once followed had abandoned them if uh. they're now following an old god, or if that god hasn't noticed, you're <laughs> unsure. So, wait, just to okay. confirm, old gods are like the shitty bad guys, kind of like how Zeus is? They're like warlock gods. Oh, okay. They so, gotta so fire they're, you up, they just, they, they're garbage. If we're going for the like Greek mythology thing, they're the Titans. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And I Casual can't remember correction. what they're called in Norse. I was thinking like uh, Lovecraft. It's like oh. Cthulhu. Kind yeah, of. that's what I was thinking. I was like, it's like Cthulhu. Like a, it's a great old one. Yeah. You know that Cthulhu just cannot has be four kids. With humans. They're just they're just know. toys and a wife. Basically, He's a family I man. Know, I right. know Relia though. Relia, whatever. All right. What do you guys want to do? Thanks. Uh, not pick my nose again. <laughs> Are you Good okay? Plan. Yeah, Manny's like, I'm gonna put my nose again. I'm just like, put it back in my food. I'm like, no, it's not it. <laughs> no, it's not it. Um, I'll so I'll stab think... the next person that says shit. <clears throat> I think, uh, Rangroom, after having a bit of chuckle. <laughs> you laugh at my pain? That's yes. okay, because I laugh at yours. <laughs> you carried leg on the boat for so long. <laughs> Dude, the day I we lost that leg was an I epic tragedy. That was an epic battle for that, the leg. Well, he was my, it was my best Rip. friend. <laughs> what was his name? Injured Isaac's leg. Yeah. But didn't we Dan the later Warlock. name him no, to no, like Dan, Dan the Warlock? Dan yeah. the Warlock. Yeah. Well, nope, he's still injured Isaac. He's still selling doTERRA, so. That dice, that dice <laughs> is dead to me. It failed me on picking my fucking nose out of all things. Okay. Um... What do you think we should do next, Rangrim? Yeah, you're kind of the expert around here on this. Rangrim's gonna have a bit of a think. Okay. What you thinking about? Don't think too hard. I'm gonna ask Marilyn. Uh, what was your What was your goal for uh, getting into the library? Uh, I had to acquire three things. One of the things I had, I had to get one of the water lilies that we picked in masses. Yeah. What? Um, why were you trying to get in though? That's what I was asking. Uh, we were doing research. Oh, were we doing research on the water temple? What were we doing research on? <laughs> we think... were doing the research, I think, to know about the visions we saw. Because mm, we saw that's right. the light hammer, the sword, the ring. Was there anything else? I don't... No, uh, I think we really was... only have oh, written like... down okay. light hammer and ring. Yeah, there was a light hammer and there was a ring. That and was then the, that was the three things. Sword that and then there was the sword that I fucking lost. lost. Um, so after a bit Lost of a pause, I think Rangrim's gonna look up and be like, 
I'll help you with the library then. I've heard owl bears are very nice. Uh, bear owls, as you know them. Uh, bear owls. Bear uh, owls. In my town of uh, Whitewater. Can I please they call correct them bear him? owls? For they're like bears and you? owls. They're very kind this time of year. You know, the small and little like mouse sized bear owls. Yeah, huh, bear owls. Totally. They're, mm-hmm. they're very small. Um, Can in I fact, try I might be able him? to find them. May, do you know anything about owl bears? I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised that uh, I do make, have a mouse in my what, pocket. Does what's, that your, <laughs> what's your nature? <laughs> it's probably like negative Modifier. one. Um, <laughs> it's under wisdom, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's intelligence. Oh, okay. okay. One. Plus one. Yeah, it's plus one. You're pretty. Sh- you know, like a couple things offhand about owl bears because they're fairly common. <laughs> Not small. <laughs> Not small. Not large. Nice. <laughs> So I'm not, I'm Size talking, of a grizzly bear. So I'm kind of talking about why, like, you know, these owl bears. You could probably find them in the sewer, right? They're like, they're like. I'm vermin. just looking at him like. And just I, find I them. I have a question, if you, Jack. If either of you two would like to know anything more about owl bears, you're welcome to make nature checks, Rangrim. I just want to um, try and you correct him. You rolled in that one. Yeah. So. I'll roll to know more about owl bears, so but I have I... a legitimate question. Can they okay. fly? No, they don't have wings. That would make them so much cooler. That would make them like. <laughs> Absolutely horrifying. Oh also, I rolled a 19. So I got a 20 with modifiers. Okay. Oh, actually, hold on. It's a plus one, so I also got a 20 with modifiers. Woo-hoo! There you go. Yay! All right. <laughs> We're like, you don't know shit about owl bears. <laughs> owl bears <laughs> are here. Let me just. I read this earlier, but just to make sure, they're rather large, very territorial creatures. They tend to live either in dens or. Um, Forests. They typically hunt at night. They will happily attack anything if it's in its territory. Larger, stronger. Owlbear doesn't give a shit. Owlbear, Owlbear don't, care. don't give a fuck. <laughs> Owlbear will fight that fucking thing. <laughs> right, you're still going off uh, about how small and nice they are. Yeah, just in the background. <laughs> Me. Um, you sound like you're describing also, like a they, sewer rat. Are they usually That's in what they packs are, isn't or it? they solitary animals? They're pretty solitary. Yeah, okay, they pretty much they only get together yeah. to mate. Owlbears uh, are pack animals. They're small little pack animals. <laughs> they run around the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> they have tails. They don't look like owls. In fact, they have like the big ears, kind of like Mickey Mouse. Um, Can I slap them again? They're just Mickey Mouse. They're just Mickey Mouse. <laughs> just Mickey Mouse <laughs> running around in the sewer <laughs> looking decrepit <laughs> with like <laughs> smoking, like yeah, snoring no. cocaine. Just Except for in this dark... Fantasy world is like, all right, dwarves, fucked up. He's holding a pizza, pizza, and it looks like a sewer rat. He's holding like two daggers. All right, kids, fuck him up. <laughs> Get fun. And he just has like a swarm of like eight year olds. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't think I watched Mickey Mouse Clubhouse when I was eight. <laughs> You're asked the wrong one. Okay. Obviously. Anyway. So, was there? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know Rangrim is not describing an this. owl bear. There was a lot more Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Rangrim, do you know what the... Do you know what you're talking about? The answer is no. Uh, d- do I? <laughs> do you I? Think you do? I think I do. <laughs> it's possible. We're talking about owl bears. Big ass. Not big. Bear owls. <laughs> not, not, not the other one. Not make, bear owls. Just make a general intelligence check. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to feel this so fucking hard. Oh my like fucking so Christ. Bad. That's seven. <laughs> That's not seven. I mean, Holy okay. shit. He maybe a maybe one. she's right, but like, you swear you've seen bear owls before. <laughs> you know, just oh running God. around the streets of Whitewater. I've seen these bear owls before. They're in Whitewater. I can guarantee they're in Whitewater. I will take okay, you to Whitewater okay, and show you listen the bear here, owl packs. Rangrim. Shut you up. know what? Let's <laughs> listen not here. argue. Let's just take him to see yeah, one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's just take his ass out away. to the forest <laughs> and say, okay, if it's so easy, you get it. You kill it. Well, no, no, no. Like, if it's big, like, you might be right. I might be thinking of something else. Bear owls might no, be an no, entirely no, no, no. different You're species. You're so sure. You go out and get that thing. Yeah, you can totally get a tongue. I believe in yeah, you. Yeah, if, if you're so I don't sure, how would you go about. and get it, Rangroom? Help me understand. <laughs> I was very religious. I oh, <laughs> You're like, Bear owls are not a religious subject. <laughs> they are apparently not rats. They're They're definitely not rats. So the nearest the forest, forest is about one. Th- one day away, if you kind of oh, pop Jesus. it. We don't have my sword of warmth anymore. No. 
Because you oh, lost yeah, it. It's like, <laughs> yes, but, we uh, should do need to give figure that out. We city, should search for that on the other first. side. We don't know where to start right Is now. It any we need to get into the library so we can research. No, it's you guys really didn't change too far north and south. Probably mm-hmm. about so here's 50 my miles by a quick guess, but okay. Yeah, it's still so not cold. enough to change dramatically. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna so okay. uh, I'm just gonna kind of be like before we can find the flame tongue. We need to do some research at the library so that we can understand what we, we're going up against. I mean, I don't know anything about the old gods. Um, actually, do I know anything about the old gods? I know a bit about the. Do I? Uh, you know a bit. They I were, know a bit about the like, old gods. You mostly you just know that they kind of tortured the races for their own amusement. They just they caused massive wars for fun, caused a lot of <laughs> famines, um, plague, and then just. They were overthrown by the current gods in a massive war. Yeah. The old gods, they were terrible. That's kind of all I know about they them. They big suck. <laughs> they big suck. They do. They are not well, dumb thick. Um, we can't get into well, the fancy library without the shit. You suck, so. <laughs> Um, you so may be dummy thick, you, but you uh, suck. Where do you think we should try and find this? You can big suck me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we should do some research at the library to find out what like, if there's any information on the stuff we're going up against, if there's any information on, um, you know. Cool. On the so, religion of the things we need to find. Is there um, another library? And then, honestly, I need to hit something. I need to hit something. Cool. I'm so, gonna hit something. Let's leave the owl bear to Rangrum. This, where is this large we'll make owl bear you speak of? Forest. The, the forest. <laughs> the woods. I did say dens or forest. Mm. Where's the closest den? den? <laughs> okay, well, I can help you. Oh, you'd have to look for it. Can I ask where the closest den might be? That's I want fun. someone to point me towards a bar and be like, that way. <laughs> Do you just want, like, the Skyrim quest marker? Yes. Oh, they're here, basically. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna be like, or, yeah, so Rangrum's gonna be like... that way. Um, yeah. Uh, I can help you. I can help you fight the owlbear. Cool. The only Perfect. thing I'm concerned about is Do, not owlbears. Do you owl still bears. have your light hammer? Uh, no. It's not very light, but it is a hammer, yes. Well, sorry, hammer. <laughs> yes, he still has a hammer. Does not okay. have the sword. I, I don't I don't know what you lost. Did you just lose a sword? Yes, he yes. just lost the okay. flame sword. Which was the most important part yes, it of was. my entourage. <laughs> yep. Well, maybe someone and shouldn't have fucking lost it. I'm a dwarf. You drunk motherfucker. Drunk is half and of what we do, <laughs> and the <laughs> other half is master worksmithing. Oh, for a no, second, I thought you were going to say masturbating, and I was like, wow. You a very important sword, and inside you just... You just decided to drink. I lost myself, okay? <laughs> I lost myself in that area. Are you supposed to be some kind of religious warrior? Yeah, but he's a dwarf. Hair that doesn't matter. Herodine does not scorn the fires of passion, wizard. <laughs> that sounds like more of a brothel situation, my friend. Now, find me the nearest brothel. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, lord. Okay. Let's go I want hair dye to get fuck, not hair dye. Uh, I'll JJ Rangrum to get drunk as shit, and he's like, "I want a brothel, <laughs> an entire brothel." Where brothel, are you going to go to try man. to find this um, owl bear, Marilyn? I actually have no idea where we'd start. Probably just the edges of town. Jack was talking about this, a forest. You said this is a, a very big should, city, so I don't think the there'd be a lot of room out. for like a den or somewhere it could hide. I have boots of warmth. Do either of you guys have a ring of warmth? No. Uh, I ha- do have no like boots anything. of quiet. Or do you have anything have to keep you warm? Folder. I have a bag of holding. You guys are all wearing warm clothes, yeah, which should come keep from. you warm. If we hit a blizzard but again, you, though. If you guys hit night... It's going to get cold real fast if you don't have means to make a fire. And if you get caught in a blizzard... We might need to stock up before we leave. And I'm... I also agree because... Very poor. Somebody lost my backpack. I'm going to be like... um, I I don't lose it. We need to... I threw it in your general direction. (laughs) Uh, And... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we keep arguing. That's what I want. We need to stock up before we leave. I'm aware. What do you guys have? Nothing. Jack shit. Warm clothes. Do you guys um do you guys have any like money that we could use? Yes, I have money. I have Mune. How know. much money? Because I have save. one silver and eight copper. Let's see. 
I could buy I a Twix bar with what I have. 32 pieces of gold, you can buy 7 pieces of silver, you can buy one side. and 4 pieces of copper. You have 32 pieces of gold? 30, yeah, 32 pieces of gold. We can probably stretch that out, is that okay? That's fine. Are you willing to buy supplies with that? Yeah, totally. I We will buy supplies. <laughs> okay, so the forest is about a day out. But the Let's next time I least... want to destroy something, you cannot stop me. Deal. Deal. Go get that baby leg. <laughs> yeah. It was a baby arm. Rangram's gonna kind of just swallow his pride and huff and be like, fine. Um, I want to burn down an orphanage full of children. Do it. No orphanages. <laughs> fine. Fire is only for the unworthy. Shit. I'm very religious. <laughs> uh, okay. Just straight out. I'm very religious. You're offending me. <laughs> Rangram is very religious. Okay, he so likes fire. Where are we going? Um, we need to stock up. In the direction you know, of supplies. Yeah. Do you know where the general goods store is? Do we know where the general goods store is? Oh, and I'm going to be like, Vanny? I went, sh- Vanny? I went looking for shops, so I might know where it Vanny? is, because I went looking to steal one. Marilyn, you would I'm gonna know need where the general do store is. Oh, yes, please. I'm going to need you to let me buy the things. Aw, that's sad. Okay. It's jerky. What? You can destroy two things. Yes! <laughs> I I'm get never destroy- making steel again. I want everyone okay. to note that I can destroy two things without Rangram saying shit. I I'll write it down. I got you. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like she should put it in her non-existent notes. That sounds... You know what? I was thinking about writing it down, but... You should. No, I don't think I will. <laughs> I'm gonna write that. I got you, Manny. Don't worry about it. Yes. Marilyn will remember. Um, or you could write it in the pad of paper I gave you uh, for notes for this campaign. How do you spell your name, Rangrim? Uh, R-A-N-G-R-I-M. It's from oh, that. I have boots of elven kind, by the way. I got it. Dick fuck. Let's go. Fuck. Uh, oh, wait. I assume you guys are heading towards the general store. Yes. Yes, I will lead the way. Okay. Follow, children. Can I borrow the money? Yes, take it. Oh. You make it to the <laughs> general store. That was surprisingly easy. Um... <laughs> I will hand There's you. a human running the shop. There are a few various people inside. I'm going to approach the human Jeez. and say, Hello there, sir. Hi. Uh, uh, what are you looking for? <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to need, I'm going to count us up, and I'm going to say about 15 days of rations. 15 days of rations? Right. Um, let's do a tinderbox. Okay, tinderbox. Uh, let's do some oil for good measure. Oil. Just one flask? Make it three. Three? All right. I, uh, um, if anyone wants to know, I'd roll my note. It says, Vanny gets two, underlined, free passes to wreck shit. <laughs> The, her first note. Yay! I'm so proud. Be proud of How me. How long have we been running this campaign? Like a year. <laughs> this is session eight. Yeah, yeah. Be so proud that's okay. of me. I, I, I've been pretty I, bad about notes too. Note. I only have a couple pages. Um, I don't need no. I, I was good about taking right notes. How much is that? I took them all in uh, separate notes. So far, notebooks. with the 15 days rations, the tinder box, and the oil, you're at eight gold, three silver. I think that'll be all for now. And I'm gonna give him the money. Hey, right? wait, give me. Give, I'm gonna give, give him nine gold. A, okay. Hands you seven. I need a silver. just a general pack of shit. I'm sorry. Uh, mm-hmm. What do you mean a general pack of shit? Like, what do you need? Like a backpack with just general shit in it, like sleeping bag. Like a burglar's pack, or like an explorer's pack, or like. I don't know what fucking difference. What's uh, an explorer's pack gonna run us? He looks through. Um. Here, hold on. Let me see which pack you want. I've got ten gold for an explorer's pack. Okay, Explorer's Pack is the one with, like, the sleeping bag and the pythons and the... It's got a backpack, bedroll, mess kit, tinderbox, ten torches, ten days rations, and a water skin, and 50 feet of hemp and rope. All right. Okay, the Hold off five thing. rations in the tinderbox, and... I'll pay for it. Uh, we'll take the, <laughs> ex- the... What's it called? The Explorer's Pack. Rangrim. Yes? I'll pay for it. I have Vanny's money. We'll just buy it with Vanny's money. And I have my money. <laughs> I mean, Vanny can buy her own pack with her own money, though. I mean, uh, you're you're welcome to pay for it, but does she have enough? Uh, yeah. plenty, yeah. I got enough. But how much do you have, Vanny? Uh, um, thirty-two gold pieces. I did have thirty-two. How much did you just spend? Uh, ten plus ten rations and three flasks of oil. 
It was 15 days rations. I know, I cut it down to 10. Because the pack comes with 10. Oh, okay. I th- Okay, sorry. I thought you were just taking I'm confused, five so out of the me. bag. Uh, it works that way anyway. It's yeah. Fine. So, f- in addition to the... What was it? 8-3... Uh, it's going to be 7-2 yeah. for the Explorer's pack. 8-2 uh, yeah. plus 7-2, so that would be 12. 12 plus 7 is 24. 15 gold and 5 silver. Is, um, let me see if we want an Explorer's pack. We might be able to get a better pack for what we're doing. That is all I have in stock. Only Explorer's pack. Only packs. Explorer's pack. Okay, Fuck it. That'll do. I need to go to the shitty part of town to get the other gold. packs. And be like, uh, or sorry, no, I'll be like, so that's 15 gold, right? 15, 5 silver. All right, awesome. And I'll pass him the money. Okay. There you go. And then he gives it to me? Mm hmm. I'll take it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I would assume that he would give it to you. I'll load up the pack and be like, Vanny, <laughs> this pack is as large as you are. <laughs> Do you want me to just carry the pack? Yes. Put the pack around my back. <laughs> I would love to run so around in a pack. You currently have your backpack. And her backpack. We're about Just to go so backpacking, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Ranger's got a strong back, I think. What's your strength modifier? Plus three. Okay. Hmm. And carry two bags. I hope everyone is enjoying episode 20 of Dice Quest. I'm here for just a short time to let you know that we are still naming NPCs after people who mention us on Instagram and Twitter as well as people who post to our subreddit. Our Instagram is DiceQuestPod, our Twitter is at QuestDice, and our Reddit is r slash DiceQuest. This is going on through the end of the year, so if you mention us before January 1st, you can hear your name on this podcast as an NPC. We have one of those people coming up soon, either next episode or in episode 22. Thanks for listening, and if you've been missing the combat, don't worry. We get the start of some combat at the end of this episode. Enjoy. (laughs) Alright, which direction are we heading? To the forest! Which is the closest edge? Oh, sorry. Uh, Can I I make a a roll to remember what... Direction you oh, said it was in? Oh. I didn't say which oh, direction it was in. Fuck it. Yeah, you I guys just no, I'm there's run back a in the shop. about a day away. I'm gonna run okay. back in the shop really quick. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you again. Do you have you any firewood? Firewood. Um, let me check. Runs out back. Comes back about a minute later. How much do you need? Uh. Mm, don't look at me. Just meta gaming. Is this something? Or sorry, uh, I'm gonna make. Can I make a survival check to see how much fire would I need for like a fire? Just one. I'm sure. gonna plan for five fires. Okay. Sure. Okay. Actually, I might be able to just math them ahead. I need like four logs and then like tinder and stuff. But we have the tinder. You box. have the tinder box. So we can probably find the small little twigs and then. Uh... So if you want four logs per day in five days, right? 20 logs, that's going to be heavy. Yep. How? Let's do 8 they logs. They are like quarter logs, and let's they're do, not massive. Yeah, let's they're, do 8 logs. 8? Alright. Yeah. Jack, quick question. Mm. Uh, the surrounding area and like the city we're in, is it particularly cold like snow? Oh, there's snow on the ground. Fuck it. Well, I'm thinking that we might not be able to find twigs. We, we could just break them off the tree. Off trees. Stop using logic. And if it's cold, <laughs> if it's cold all the time, there's probably going to be at least five dead trees. Right. Okay. It's going to run you two any. silver. <laughs> you use smart. I'll give you two silver. All right. He comes back, get, hands you the eight. Does he just little... hand me a pile of logs? No, they're just like a pile bound of shit. with some twine. Okay. Can I fit them in the backpack? <laughs> if you rummage some stuff around, you prime would be able to play Tetris, or you could strap it to the side using some of the rope. I'm going to strap it to the side of my bag, okay. and then I'm just going to have hand Vanny the Explorer's bag. Okay. Cool. And be like, you actually might want to carry this. <laughs> All right. I'm just waddling around with this giant backpack. Mommy! Yep. Mommy, mommy! This backpack was Why? not designed for a halfling. <laughs> you... the, like, the bottom of it's just dragging the road. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> if you're struggling, <laughs> I can take the back. No point. All right. She's doing... Which direction do we head? It's like two parents watching their child. Force bound! 
Do you know which way the forest is? Uh, Vanny found out where the forest was, right? No. Jack never said which direction it was in. I he didn't. said it was a day away. You guys do have access to a map. Someone pull out a map. Oh, map. oh no, we or actually have a map. Or of truth. you could ask someone in world. Both are options. Can I ask uh, someone in world while he pulls up the map? Does anyone sure. ever actually use the, use the map? Okay. I'll be like, uh, which way is the nearest forest? Uh, the golden forest? Yeah. It's uh, about a day to the west. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Let's go west. I would follow the road uh, either heading straight west and then veer north. Straight west or north. Or take the road north. It'll get you closer, but it's a little more dangerous. The, the north northern road. Northbound road? Yeah. Um, oh. Is the northbound road faster? It would get you closer a little faster. But it's not the forest isn't quite as thick as where it would kind of drop you off. So, uh, so it's like um, it's up to you which a grove, you and then it goes it like kind thick, of, like it sparse. Okay, kind of at this area. I'm gonna think for a second and be like, four more logs, please, of firewood, if you don't mind. Right, uh, silver. Yeah, give him right. the silver. Comes back with a twine bound. All right, All right, kids. So I like, no thank you. I'll silver. bind it to the rest of the wood attached to my pack, and we'll go. I just want to let you know, I no longer have silver, just gold and copper. I think I just gave him like six. Yeah. Okay. So, so I gave him basically sixteen gold, and then yeah. you have another sixteen. Which way do we head, team? Uh, uh the direction of up bear. To you guys. I'm here for the, yes. the adventure. <laughs> Man, that was very Forest Kratos bound. of me. I asked him, yes, yeah, we so we're going to take, we're going to, do you want to take let's a take road? let's take the westbound road. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Because that seems a little road. bit safer, and we've had a bit of a tumultuous time recently. Word of the day, tumultuous. All right. You take the western road, mm-hmm. get out <laughs> like, of the city. <laughs> I thought that was a shit, like, holy shit. Yeah, I was going to say, why are you rubbing my foot? <laughs> are going through the city walls. You go through the currently open gate into the wild beyond. Yay. Here, there are quite a few farms, mostly animal farms. Okay. A few taverns. Like the George Orwell book? Hmm? Like the George Orwell book? No idea, man. Oh. <laughs> it, 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 okay. While we're passing a farm, can I steal a pig? There aren't really pigs here. You see some Four? sheep and mm. some. Are there any chickens? Like deer. <laughs> you don't see any chickens. Shit. Aww. Are there any poultry of any kind? Not really, no. Damn it. Your options are basically like sheep, deer, and reindeer. Oh man. None of those are easily stolen. And easily enough to piss off Rangram if I kill it and keep its corpse for a while. <laughs> Really stabs a reindeer, <laughs> cuts off its leg at the hip, and I'm like it's mine now. <laughs> you guys carrying on? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, How quickly do we want to go? Way. Fast, it's normal, or so... slow? Uh, uh, let's make it normal. Okay, normal pace. We have supplies. We have twenty days of rations. It's fine. Yep, let's go normal. All right. We don't want to wear ourselves out before we meet a bear. Yes. You guys, along the Rangram's day. Rangrim's fighting the bear. Oh yeah, Rangrim's fighting the bear. Quite a few, um, like, merchants kind of making their way into Snowcastle. Along the road you see a few small little towns, not big enough to be mapped. Okay, so like hamlets? Yeah. They're just, like, tiny, maybe 20 houses, mostly Alas, farmland. Poor York. <laughs> <laughs> Can I burn down at least one of those villages? 
Every time I say, every time I say something like that, JJ gets this look on his face like he's made the worst mistake <laughs> known to humanity. Like he gave me launch codes to the nukes or something. <laughs> Night rolls Ryan by. Ryan Grubb's gonna just like mutter to himself. He's only threatened so far. <laughs> He's only threatened so far. Night rolls <laughs> by. <laughs> You're maybe um, about 20 minutes walk from a small little town. Do you like to try to make it to the town or just set up camp by the road? Let's make it towards the town so then we can save firewood. Yes. All right. Yeah, it'd be a good we'll idea. We'll a little bit more and then we can um, we can ask for some assistance. All right. You guys make it to town, mostly farmland. There's one tiny tavern. Like, by your guess, maybe it has two rooms. I uh, totally want to bunk with a ring room. So, <laughs> yes, please. Where do you guys go no. in this town? <laughs> there are a few people walking around, but it's getting pretty late. Uh, I just want to go towards the tavern. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To the Some, tavern. Let's not let's waste go. time with these plebs. <laughs> You walk People in. come up to approach us, and we're just like, "Get down!" <laughs> Are this too casual? Business. You walk in. There are about two people in this tavern. Smells heavily of beer, mm. and there's a human man sitting behind the counter. Doesn't seem to have noticed you guys enter. I just want to run up to the bar and like, just stare. Okay. <laughs> I wanted an audible thing because microphones. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we need to do like something with our faces one day. Mm. I'm gonna walk up to the bar and be like, "Greetings, sir. This is my daughter, <laughs> Just Annie." Push her down. <laughs> push her down from the bar <laughs> and be like, uh, <laughs> Just we, "We'd like to rent uh, two rooms for the night." Seems like you greeting him has woken him up. Uh, sorry. Well, what can I do for you? Uh, we like to ta- we like to rent a room for the night. Kind of looks at the three of you. I assume you're in there as well, Marilyn. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am here. I'm just observing these idiots. Looks at the three of you. You're not from here, are you? <laughs> no. Ah, uh, no. We're what you'd call yeah. an adventuring family. I want to mm. look like this a is my daughter, Annie, child is and this <laughs> is my this is one of my friends, uh, Harolyn. Carolyn. At least I'm not your daughter. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, what'd you want? Room? Uh, just a room. Alright. Two rooms, room? actually. We've only got one available. Man, that sucks. Uh, yeah, we'll rent the room. <laughs> that does not fuck. Right. That's so far for fucks. <laughs> That'll be seven copper. Uh, I'll just hand him seven copper and be like, have right. a good night, sir. Yeah, night. And he kind of, like, settles back in his chair. I hope you isn't using my copper, because I only got four pieces of copper. I, I'm using my copper. Okay. I was like, uh, you underpaid this man. <laughs> was that the but rest of your fine. copper? And then when we get up to the room, I'll be like, okay, the reason I didn't use your names was because I don't want the Divine Watch to get a trail on us. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> okay, your names Daddy. are so convincing. Yeah. Yeah. Just... and Annie, yeah. Uh, <laughs> my name's Hangrim. <laughs> You just add H's. <laughs> you can't even get more original. Uh, How many letters do you know? going to think for a second and be like, in retrospect, I didn't need to throw the Divine Watch off our trail. But at least the barkeeper won't think it's weird that you ran up and stared at him. If he was asleep, he didn't even see me. I didn't notice. You guys get in the room. Did you think she was just going to shank him? <laughs> I yes. thought about it. <laughs> it's pretty small. About... Maybe... A uh, seven by six foot room. Okay. Tiny bed. That's about it. Cool. Uh, One window. Very dirty. You're not sure if it's on the inside or out. Can't see through it at all. Ew. What's under Perfect. the bed look like? Sorry, um, I should have been a little more clear. It's just a kind of like a grouped together pile of hay oh. that has had like some linen thrown over it. Man, this room suck. <laughs> Definitely wasn't worth the money I paid for. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be like, okay, you didn't pay for it, <laughs> and also, it's better than nothing. And then I'll pull out my uh, <laughs> sleeping bag. Okay. Lay it out. I'm gonna take a fat nap. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. take a fat, fat <laughs> fucking nap. Uh, I don't want the hay pile. I'll give that to Marilyn. I'm just gonna. I wanna. <laughs> 
to sleep like a normal person. <laughs> Jesus, Maddie. Jesus Christ. I want to, like, lay on top of Rangram. Okay. <laughs> Marilyn. I'm going to fucking no, fuck your ass. <laughs> he's going to drop kick you out this fucking tower. Yeah, out the window like, we I'm can't see you. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm going to kick you into. You can't see it. I want to curl up like a window. cat, like, on his lap. I'm just going to pick up Vanny and, like, put her oh, elsewhere. Here we go. Elsewhere. <laughs> Just think that I'd go to Anywhere sleep. else, please. <laughs> please. Does everyone go to bed? Yes. I'll pull yes. my own yep. sleeping bag. Okay. Everyone make a perception check with disadvantage. Oh, oh fuck shit. It. I forgot to lock the. Did we lock the. Nope. We didn't lock the door. Did the door have a lock? This place doesn't seem like a very safe Check. establishment. It I did lock? have a lock. Can I lock the door? Sure. I'd like to lock the door. Okay. And put something in front of the door. Okay. Um, Make a perception <laughs> check with disadvantage, please. There's a rat in the hay. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. A rat. I swear to God, JJ. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fucking God. Uh, oh, just a reminder, disadvantage is roll twice, take the lower. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, that dice goes to dice hell. Uh, the, I got a... I got oh, an I got 11. Six, actually. Uh, six. Uh, it's perception, right? Yes. That means I also got a six. Two sixes. I got a fourteen. I guess fourteen. It's sixes. Thank you, Vanny. Vanny. Something wakes you up in the middle of the night. Some oh. sound. You're not sure what it is. Fuck it's up, Vanny. pretty late. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck him up, late. Vanny. Get when him. we got here, there was she's maybe, like a guard chihuahua. Get <laughs> there like was no light in this room. Uh huh. But now there's definitely some moonlight shining through the very dirty window, and. The night's silent again. Something woke you up. Can I listen harder? Can I perceive <laughs> you again? Can, you can listen as hard as you like. The sound is not there that woke you up currently. Would you like to go back to bed or stay up to try to find out what woke stay you up? Stay up, because I feel if I go back to bed, one of us is getting our throat slit or our shit is going to get stolen. I don't know. Maybe it's a false hydra. Okay, or, make a uh, perception check with advantage because you're listening. Are you gonna wake attentively. us up? No, I'm not gonna wake you up. Fuck you guys. Fuck me. Fuck you. <laughs> Seven, eight. Uh, Sounds like you should have woke us up, Vanny. Hold on, wait. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ten. Okay. You he- was that with advantage? No. Okay. Wait, advantage is you roll twice to take the higher one, right? Yeah. Okay, no. Nope, that was a lie. Just kidding. Fuck. Is that a nine or a six? I'm gonna go with this a nine. So nine, ten. No, there should be a line. Uh, there's a dot. Okay. Dot goes on bottom. Yes, it's a nine. Okay. Total. Well. Okay. So, you're listening in and you hear this screeching. Awesome. Sounds like it's fairly near. Is it human? Oh, most certainly not. Lovely. Almost, make a nature check to see if you make this connection. Promising. Wow. It, my almost the best question I could ask is it human? Absolutely not. That not fucks. That does not fuck. Uh, sixteen, and then my nature is a one, so that's a seventeen. Okay. I'm rolling pretty good right now. The, like okay. this kind of sounds like an owl attacking something. Oh my god! This oh, owl bear is attacking shit. Can I kick both of these two awake? He's I don't want to kick them nicely. I want to, like, full on kick them. Sure. Um, Vanny, you will be punted. <laughs> it's like, what? Boom, What's your strength point. modifier? Uh, my strength modifier. Where do I find that? That's the it's first the top one. score. Remember, Vanny, if you damage oh, us, two. we can't save you okay. as efficiently. Plus because, two. Plus two. Because wow. they're both unconscious and prone, you <laughs> automatically crit them both. Oh, shit. Plus two, you said? Benny. Okay, so both of you take <laughs> four damage as she kicks you awake. All now of you I'm are starting now the day awake, at 45 instead of 49. But you are extremely tired and have exhaustion. Level one. What? Why did we have exhaustion? We didn't even walk that far. Kind of, we did. Never mind. You walked a whole day, and it's the middle of the night. You okay. have not gotten a rest. Hey, you fucks. There's an owlbear outside. Are you positive of that? Almost. Okay. Because if you're not, I'm gonna let him punch you out the window. Oh, man. Listen to the Vanny? screeching. That's fucking one. 
and then I'm gonna walk out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Man, all right. So I only have one more chance to fuck you. shit up, to wreck shit. Um, okay. I cannot write a word. I would Jesus like to. There we go. Can I at least kind of like try and scrub some of the muck away from this window? Like an attempt. Can you reach sure. the window, baby? Um, you can. Do you like use your sleeve or something? Yeah. Okay, you manage to wipe off a bit of like the dust and just kind of small flecks of dirt on the inside. Ew. But it seems like most of this is on the outside. Fuck it. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Okay. Fuck does it. the window open? The window does open. How far is it from the ground? You guys are on the first floor. Can I open the window and quickly? Ground floor for our European listeners. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm going to grab weapons and then immediately jump out the window. Uh, okay. I'm Would gonna you like on... to open said window? Just yes. want to double check. I'm going to put on my armor, yes. grab my hammer, grab my, my dagger, and window. walk out the door like a normal human being. So you're nah, donning your armor, window. yes? Huh? You're donning your armor? Yes. Okay. What? Chain classification. Mail. Is that medium? Yes. Okay. Let me just check the dawning time. No, the medium that is heavy. Armor. Chain is heavy? Chain mail is, yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. So you start to don your armor. The other two of you have ten minutes. What would you like to do before he gets his armor on? Wow. Screw you. Uh, <laughs> run in towards the direction of screeching. I'm gonna okay, like, so grab my shit and head outside. Door or window, Marilyn? I choose door. <laughs> Windows for cooler people. Okay. You jump out of the window, Vanny, and about 50 feet from you, you see this rather large creature illuminated in the moonlight. Seems to have feathers instead of fur. Seems to be about bear-sized. Massive mm. eyes, almost glowing in the dark, dragging a dead and presumably bloodied sheep. Kind huh. of out of town. So it's um, not looking at me. It's going away from me. What's your stealth modifier? Uh, fuck. Uh, it's high. Oh, uh, let's see. Stealth. Where the fuck is stealth? Saving. Nope. Saving. Saving. Stealth. Uh, side of hand. Uh, it's eight. It's a plus eight. Okay. So, you jump out of this window, land, not making a sound, but. And this owlbear is dragging this sheep away from you. Cool. Um, it does see you, however. Fuck it. What would you like to do? I'll give you surprise. In the meantime, everyone roll initiative. Cool. Uh, my I want to try to immediately blind it, so can I throw a dagger towards the eyeball direction of this owlbear? How close am I to it? You're so 50, 50 feet. feet. Uh... What are we rolling for again, Jack? You could throw... Initiative, Initiative. Please. Um, I could totally throw a dagger 50 16. feet, right? Uh, <laughs> hold on. Uh, oh, fuck. Um, 50 feet will not be super accurate, kay. but you can definitely do it. So basically you have disadvantage on this attack. towards the bear and then throw it? Um, you have movement speed of 25 feet, right? Uh, 20? yes. Okay. So you have the distance, and you're still outside of your good range, mm -hmm. but you can throw. Okay. God. Disadvantage. Ah. Rangrim, would you get on initiative? Mm. In. Oh, they're fighting, and then I have ten minutes. Yes. Okay. My Unless lowest... you don't want to don your armor. Seeing that they rush out, I'm just not going to don my armor, and okay. I'm just going to go. What's your initiative, then? That means I'm going to have pretty low armor class, but that's fine. Shit. So I got an 11. Five. Okay. That was my lowest. And do I have to add my... Do I have to add anything to this? So... So I'll, I'll bring my, my shield. bonus is plus five. It yeah, so five. total is... 11... 15. Okay. So go ahead and roll damage for me. Uh, and which one is that? The square? I, uh, dagger is a d4. Uh, no, it's the triangle. Oh. Oh, please, God. That's a four. Okay, and then what's your dex? Add your dex modifier to that damage. Uh, where are you, my friend? Oh. Uh, deception? Nope. Wait. Dexterity. It's okay. one of the big ones. Oh, wait. It's the one right below oh, strength. It's a plus four. Okay. And roll initiative for me so I can have this order. 
prepared? It's a 15. And then wait, initiative? Yep. Plus four. Okay, so total of? Uh, 15, 16, 14. 20? No. 19. Yes. There we go. <laughs> I always round up. 15 plus 5 is 20. <laughs> okay. I just rounded up by one. But that's not the worst. There's no rounding in D&D unless we're doing half unless damage. Unless it's down. <laughs> unless it's rounding or down. Or up on damage, please. Or up on damage. <laughs> Bucket. Right. Bucket. Bucket. I'm Let gonna, me just one of these this. days, I want to have the task of not swearing through an entire match, and I feel like that entire match, Jack, like Jack is going to fuck me the entire time. Okay. <laughs> so you gonna... throw this dagger <laughs> at this owl bear. You manage to land it in one of its eyes. Yes. And it, like, out of its beak, it just drops this sheep. It makes a little, not quite thud, but crunch in the snow. Ugh. And... It's going to charge at you. Uh, it's not very happy. happy. Thank you for listening to Dice Quest. My name is Maddie. I play Vanny Underborough, and you can find us on Instagram at Dice Quest Pod. Thanks for listening. <laughs>